Hey kids, Pastor Jim here. You know, it seems like it's been forever since we've been able to be together in church for worship, and I really miss seeing you guys. And while I've been doing some stuff for the adults, I thought maybe I should try to put out a message every week for the kids and the youth of our church as well. And so here is the first of what I hope to be a weekly short little uh, video just for you guys. And this morning, I want to talk to you about things, I'm still thinking about Easter, about things that you can't see, but you know that they're true, or that they're real. Can you think of things that you can't see, but you know that they're true? The first thing that comes to mind for me is the wind. We can't see the wind, but we believe the wind is real because we can see it rustle through the grass, move the leaves on the trees, and we can feel the breeze on our cheeks. So we know the wind is real even though we can't see it. Think about the fragrance of flowers. That's something we can't see, but when we put our nose to the flower and sniff, we know that that scent's real because flowers are smelly. We can't see smelly, but we know it's real. Got another one, how about love? You can't actually see love, you can only see the results of love. Think about the people who love you and what comes from their love. The people that you live with, they care for you every day and provide what you need so that you can be happy and safe. And that kind of love feels real, even if we can't see it. Jesus, after he died, appeared to his disciples before he went back to be with God. Can you imagine how surprising that must have been? The disciples who were there and saw Jesus believed. But one of the disciples named Thomas wasn't there. And he said he would not believe that Jesus was given new life until he could see Jesus with his own eyes. About a week later, Jesus appeared again to the disciples and Thomas was there. And when Thomas saw Jesus, he said, my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, because you've seen me, you have believed, but Blessed are the people who have not seen and have believed. This lesson teaches us that it's not necessary to see something with our own eyes to know that it's real. No one knows what God looks like, but we can see the results of God's love in the world around us, and we can feel it in our hearts. Jesus said, blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Let's be in prayer together. God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus in our lives. We thank you for the many ways that he showed us how to love and care for people and to serve others. We haven't met Jesus face to face, but we know that he is real. And God, we thank you for being part of those who are blessed by not having seen, but still believed. Amen. So kids, it's really good to see you. I hope to see you again next week. Have fun. Try to behave. Don't give your parents a hard time because this is a hard time for everybody. And we'll see you soon. Blessings. Bye-bye.